Hey, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here. I'm back again with another video. This one is a response to Dr. Josh the Real Gamer and Retro Gaming Star, who put out videos last week talking about three games that they wanted to play but couldn't because of the rise in price. So, my take on that, let's talk about it. Okay, so a couple of things first before we get into this. One, for the most part, I won't be using footage from, I won't be using my own captured footage as these are games that I don't own, but I want to give you a visual aid of sorts, so I will cite the sources that I get these from down below. Second, I'm going to focus on later console generations as a lot of the ones that I can think about came out on the Super Nintendo or the Genesis or the Neo Geo and most of those can be pretty easily emulated so without further ado let's talk about number one Alrighty, starting with the original Xbox, and this is basically the holy grail of the original Xbox, if you can get a hold of it. It came out, I think, in 2004, and it is Steel Battalion. Now, the crazy thing about Steel Battalion is, while the game itself, you can find the disc for about $80, so it is obtainable, but to play Steel Battalion, you have to have the Steel Battalion controller, and the controller is a massive 40 button beast that came along with the game, and bundled together, you see those for around the $500 mark. Um, that being said, it's something that I definitely want to experience. I mean, it, it, the, the simulation is crazy. I mean, there's buttons to open and close the hatch. You've got uh, levers to regulate your oxygen intake and things like that, depending on what environment you're in. Uh, you know, you've got boosters for thrust and everything like that. So it's supreme overkill, but that's what I like about it. Absolutely fantastic. It's a coffee table size controller equipped with three pedals on the bottom. So, I mean, that would be fantastic to live stream or fantastic just to play in general. I heard the game itself was pretty good as well. Uh, unfortunately, again, to get the bundle with the controller and the game, usually that's going north of $350 to $500. So, um, if you do happen to see that for cheap, definitely scoop it up and then you can give it to me <laughs> or something, I don't know. But, uh, still battalion, that's number one. Number two is a game actually that I owned until recently, and that is Haunting Ground for the PlayStation 2. If you guys have been watching the channel, I actually reviewed this game back in October for Halloween. It's a fantastic game by Capcom, uh, one of the later generation uh, PlayStation 2 games. Uh, it's actually a spinoff of the Clock Tower series. I can't remember if I mentioned that before, but uh, in this, you play as a young girl who is stranded in this castle, and and her job is to survive and escape. Basically, you'll befriend a dog along the way. And the dog is how you um, primarily attack enemies. You have to gain affinity with this dog to be able to do more stuff. And uh, he'll better listen to your commands and things like that. Because if you mistreat him, he'll often just run away uh, when it's time for you to fight. And then in that case, the only thing you can do is run away and hide. This is an excellent game with fantastic graphics, and it's genuinely creepy in the way they pursue this young girl. So, um, if you see this one, this game is north of $200 now. I don't think I'll be able to uh, purchase it again unless I find it for cheap, but uh, actually, I sold that game to buy this camera. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I was making an investment and, you know, just bit the bullet. But of the big three on the PlayStation 2, the big three survival horror games being that game, Rule of Rose and Kuan, uh, in my opinion, Haunting Ground is the best of the three. It plays the best. It's actually enjoyable to play, uh, unlike the other two games. But yeah, if you see this one and it's under $200, I would go ahead and grab it because the price of it is only going up from here. Okay, and last but not least, the final game of the three today. This one is an exclusive to the Wii U, and it is a fantastic action game by the name of Devil's Third. I don't know anything about the game, only from what I've seen in screenshots and gameplay, but it looks like a awesome third person hack and slash slash action shooter game, and you know those are my favorites. Devil's Third is creeping up there. Last I saw it was 
they were selling it for like 150 bucks or something like that which is too rich for my blood I personally won't pay more than any more than a hundred dollars for any game so uh, unless I can find it cheap that one slipped out of my grasp but um, you can see some of the gameplay here it looks like a fantastic game and it's one of the rare M-rated games that came out on the system. Um, now I think it might have been the only exclusive M-rated game. I could be wrong about that, but that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. So that's another one to be on the lookout for if you happen to come across it cheap. Not only is it expensive, but it's also rare. So I I ha had never saw the game in the wild um, when the Wii U was around and even right after it had failed. I had never heard of the game until somebody was talking on it on a YouTube video. So I didn't know the game existed. So I don't think it, there's many copies out there on top of it being in high demand. Uh, the Wii U is a great system to complete for those who like to uh, have complete collections in their game room collection the Wii U is a pretty easy one to obtain at just over 300 titles so um, I suspect that's why the price has jumped up in recent years you got a lot of collectors trying to complete that US set and you need Devil's Third to do that so that's the third title Alright guys, so that's going to do it for me, but let's talk about it in the comment section below. Questions, comments, concerns, threats, what are some awesome games that you would like to play but just can't pull the trigger on that high price? If you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. You'll be glad you did. I do believe that's all I got for you. Lightsaber Samurai out. Peace.